I'm using 20 PPI filter foam, which I bought on Amazon. A super long needle like this, long darners, can be very helpful for basting everything in place as well. Thick polyester batting. There are very few situations where I advocate using a tag gun, but it can be useful for basting the layers of foam together. A silver sharpie is good for marking. Quilter's pins are helpful because they're long and you can see the head. So I'm making body padding for a client. I've padded up the dress form to the client's measurements and I've made a unitard out of stretch net. I haven't closed the legs because I've got to put it on this size dress form and I left the back open a little bit as well so it'll be easier to get inside. Here are the images that my client gave me. And here's the plan I'm making on the dress form. The bottom layer is going to start low here and then have a rise for a uh, man breast and then come down low to the back and then low on the side and quite low in the front so that there'll be a shape that comes out and then back in and then round with a low belly. Now I've pinned brown paper to my dress form to create a more refined shape. I marked out my base shape in silver sharpie, paying attention to a nice, clean, clear center front line. Pinned it to my dress form. And now put the paper back on and figure out where the next layer needs to go. I decided the next layer for the top needs to start here and for the bottom we're gonna go quite close to the edge, maybe about a quarter of an inch. I copied the base layer onto the brown paper with my marks here and here, and then I'm gonna draw a new shape just inside those lines. Keep in mind that when you wrap around the body, even if I make my mark, say, only half an inch from the other one, it'll actually curve a little less to the back because it'll be on the outside curve. Here's the pattern for layer number two. Now I've got roughly the size and shape of padding that I want. I've basted everything together with a tag gun because I'll be taking it all apart afterwards to put it back together. Now I laid quilt batting over the whole thing to smooth everything out and marked the edges. I pushed all of the extra fullness to below the belly. I used the batting as my draping to make a cover for the padding, including the line for the underbust, so I'll make something that's symmetrical. I cut the cover pattern in stretch, knowing that it won't be quite right, but I'll refine the pattern after the fitting. So here's the belly, all basted in place, ready to go for the fitting. Now I'm going to repeat the process for the butt and thighs. When I got to this level, I decided that it wasn't curvy enough here or high enough here or close enough to center back. So I'm going to add layers from the underneath. Now I'm closer to the right circumference and I think it's a little bit better shape as well. I've intentionally left a gap at the center back because it'll be hard to stitch in there. Here it is tacked together. So here it is, just about ready for fitting. I still have to close up the inseam and the back, 
but I've made a little adjustment on this side. I decided this was too boxy here and uh, carved out a little bit of the padding on the inside. We'll see how that looks in the fitting. And here is what the leg looks like.